Hello and welcome to today's session of the 9 p.m. daily quiz. I hope all of you are doing good. I really hope that you have made it a habit to check this video here every single night. Every single night in this session, we take up some of the most important and relevant topics for the prelims examination. We take up these news from sources such as the Hindu newspaper, Indian Express, PIB, Down to Earth and others. Convert them into possible questions and then discuss those. The best way to take out this video or knowledge from this video would be when you see the question on the screen, pause on the screen, think about the answer, what you think is the correct answer, then play and see how many are you scoring and tell me in the comment section, what is your score? Now let's begin today's session with a quick reminder of my own app that is the Harshmeet Study Circle that you can download from the Google Play Store. Admissions are still open for the PSIR online optional comprehensive course where we are covering the entire PSIR along with ready-made notes, weekly tests and others and the one-on-one -on -one mentorship program for UPSC mains answer writing. Now let's begin with the first question. Consider the following statements with regards to private member bills. Number one, its introduction in the house requires one month's notice. Second, the government bills can be introduced and discussed on any day, while private member bills can be introduced and discussed only on Fridays. Third, the last time a private member's bill was passed by both houses was in 1970. And fourth, 14 private member bills, five of which were introduced in Rajya Sabha, have become law so far. How many of these are correct? Now, you all would have read about the private member bills. Any bill introduced by a non-minister is a private member bill. But usually, when we read about private member bills, the only thing that we read is who, what is a private member bill and how many have passed so far. It is 14. So in that context, it's a slightly tricky question because it is asking you for some more details. It is a timeline, where it can be introduced. So that becomes a tricky question because of the options. Let's look at that. First, it requires one month's notice. That is actually true. See, one of the reasons why it is difficult for the private member bill to pass is not just because it is introduced by usually the opposition party, but also because there are many restrictions on it. For example, the notice period. Also, there's only Friday. That is the only day when these bills can be introduced. And that is why the last of these bills was introduced in 1970 out of all the 14s that have passed so far. So all four are correct here. The answer here would be D. All the four are correct regarding private member bills. There's an article in the Indian Express newspaper today about private member bills, how 10 Lok Sabha seats for youth for another special package for Bihar for all of these private member bills have been introduced. Shashi Tharoor, for example, usually introduces a lot of private member bills. And obviously since 1970, none of them have been passed means none of the bills that he wanted to introduce have passed so far, but he does try and bring in these private member bills time and time again. Next question number two, the World Heritage Committee recently decided to include the monastery of St. Hilarion Tel Um Amir in the UNESCO World Heritage List and list of world heritage in danger. This is located where exactly? Saudi Arabia, Indonesia, Palestine or Egypt. This was in the news. It was covered in the newspaper today itself. Where is this site? This famous site is in Palestine. It's in Palestine. UNESCO interestingly has given this site the UNESCO World Heritage Status. This was covered in all the newspapers today, including the Indian Express, where it tells the story about how amid the ongoing conflict with Palestine, the World Heritage Committee that had its meeting in Delhi has decided to include this site in the World Heritage List. The World Heritage Committee used the emergency inscription procedure under the World Heritage Convention recognize the site's value. This site, as you know, is located in Palestine. Next question number three. Trastuzumab, Derakstikan, Osimertinib and Durvalumab. These were recently in the news. These are what? Obesity reducing drugs, cancer treatment drugs, puberty blocking drugs or COVID vaccines for kids. Why were these in the news? Now, these were in the news very recently in the context of the announcements in this budget. If you remember in this budget, one of the important highlight announcements was that the government of India is reducing taxes and thereby reducing the price of a lot of cancer treatment drugs. And these are those drugs. These are the cancer treatment drugs whose price has been reduced by the government by cutting down on the duty. A number of cancer cases in India is on the rise and that is why the government is making these cancer treatment drugs cheaper. And that is what 
it has brought in the news. So approximate reduction in these range from 12,000 to 16,000 rupees. These are very expensive drugs. As you can see, the cost 1.5 to 1.6 lakh per dosage. And that is why it's very important that these drugs are not that expensive. Next question number four. The Jabiluka site recently in the news is famous for, or famously, but famous for high grade deposits of what? Thorium, cobalt, gold, or uranium. The site is in the news for some reason. What exactly is this site contain and where exactly is this? So one hint I can give you is this site is in Australia. Now think about what is Australia famous for or what mineral resources does Australia have? The answer here is uranium. So Australia interestingly has said that we will not be mining uranium from this site, although it has a lot of high grade uranium. Why? Because of the indigenous population in this part of Australia. Australia thus has banned mining in one of the world's largest uranium deposits. This is because of the Mirar people who are indigenous people who have been living for decades in this site and they do not want their land to be utilized or to be exploited for mining of uranium. And that is why Australia has stopped this work. Do remember this information. Next is question number five. The Philippines community leader, Nida Colado, has recently been honored with the prestigious Wangari Mathai Forest Champions Award 2024 for her commitment to forest conservation and community empowerment. This award is given by UNESCO, Food and Agricultural Organization, the World Bank or United Nations Environment Programme. It's a very, very important award as the name says, it is given in the field of environment, especially for those people who have shown immense commitment in forest conservation and community empowerment related to forest. The answer here is FAO. It might seem like UNEP would give the award, but it's actually the FAO, Food and Agriculture Organization, a UN organ. This is the urgency that gives out this award. This is the news in the down to earth website. If you check that out, community leader from Philippines has been awarded this prestigious prize for conservation of forests and helping the communities from the harmful impact of environmental degradation. To end today's session, again, I have an important quote for you that you can utilize in your mains answer writing. The quote is from Mahatma Gandhi. Peace is its own reward. Meaning that when someone asks you, what reward will I get if I manage peace? What reward will I get if I end war and opt for peace? The reward for peace is peace itself. You don't expect some other reward to come along with peace. This is something that you can use in your essay, ethics and other papers as well. This brings us to the end of today's session. Once again, reminding you, if you're new here, do hit the like and the subscribe button. If you want the PDF of these sessions, you can join my Telegram channel. The link for that is also in the description of the video. If you are a student who has PSI or optional, don't forget to check out my PSI course that is running on my app. You can download my app from the Google Play Store. Again, the link is in the description of the video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Jai Hind.